Hey there guys, Neil here back with a game review. So recently I heard that a game was on sale and it's a, supposed, it was supposed to be a very immersive, very good looking um, mobile game. It's available for Android and iOS called Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, so I decided to check it out. Um, I'll get into the price in a little bit, but the game is actually, as it says, very immersive, very good looking, um, nice physics and uh, good environment and all of that good stuff, so I thought I'd give it a review. So um, upon launch, you get a nice simple lock screen. You tap to start to get into the opening menu. So hitting the tap button, you get a nice um, overlay of the environment. So you already can see that it's very detailed, uh, with nice water physics, some trees. You get a, um, a brother sitting around, or the two brothers, or one of the brothers at least, which you learn about in the opening sequence. Um, I'll try not to spoil too much of the story, but I will t go, uh, play around with the controls and the environment a little bit so you'll see a portion of the game with where I'm at at the moment. Um, settings are pretty straightforward. You just you have um, controls that you can adjust if you want, how big you want them to be, how transparent you want them to be, volume controls. Um, you get a quick overview of how to play. Um, the, a brief overview of the game itself is that you're play taking the roles of two brothers whose father has fallen sick and now you need to go find the cure. So you're controlling the two brothers simultaneously. So in the controls, the left control is for the big brother and the right control is for the little brother. And from there you'll control each one either simultaneously or on their own depending on where you're at in the game. Um, you can also keep a track of your achievements. So it does tie into Google Play games for on Android. and I, the, I'll assume and, um, Apple games or whatever games is on iOS for the iOS version. Um, that's pretty much all there is as far as settings go. So when you hit play, you'll jump right into the game. Um, so the point in the story of which that where I'm at is I'm actually looking for the initial care I'm still in the first chapter. Um, so I won't spoil too much of what's going on before or after so nothing gets spoiled. So you can save the game as you go or it'll save it when you exit. Um, so that way your progress is saved and you're not necessarily tied to a particular level or, per, or a particular point in the game. You can uh, quit uh, whenever you want. So hitting continue will uh, resume the game from the last save point. So essentially the, uh, the camera automatically rotates based on where the two brothers are and um, will adjust accordingly. So as you can see, I'll hit, I'll, um, when I move the left control, the big older brother in blue will move around. When I move the right control, the uh, younger brother in orange moves around. So the next point in the game, I need to um, open the gate, um, but it's not um, doing anything. So I'll try again with the... Uh, uh, big brother, you'll see the gate turns to the appropriate shade of the brother so you know which one will interact. So it was still tied to the uh, brother in orange, so I'll touch the one in blue. Um, it's not letting me go through, so that means I have to find another way to go around. Um, so in this case, the younger brother was able to get through the bars. Um, the older brother was not, so you'll see that each brother has... Um, their own particular set of traits. So the older brother is good for um, harder things so like climbing or lifting or getting through bigger areas. While the younger brother is more agile, so things like sneaking around, getting through the bars, um, and um, jumping or, or and th things like going through those bars and jumping and doing getting into small spaces will be easier for him so opening up that gate as you can see scared away the that kid who was by the gate and now the older brother was able to um come in and join the little brother so um i'm i still have a little bit of trouble get with the dual controls but once i get back into the game and i'm able to um control them well together um, so the easiest thing to do is to keep for at least for me the easiest thing to do is to keep um, each brother on their respective sides that way um, um, it's easier for me to navigate around um, and then as you can see it pans around as you need and there's some sort of interaction with this well so um, well, since the older brother just happened to be close I will uh, uh, touch it nothing seemed to have happened so I'll 
bring the younger brother over and move the older brother away and tap it, see if it does anything. Um, nothing happened here, so that probably means that there's um, some sort of a lever or something that I need to look for to maybe get the water or the bucket to lift up. So I'm um, just poking around. Um, I'm going to bring the brothers um, together over on this way, um, run them up these stairs. Um, there, got him up. So um, it all depends on the environment. So as you can see, it's a pretty, it can be tricky, but part of it is probably tr um, just tricky for me to navigate the two brothers at the same time. And there are certain areas where um, 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 you can take a rest, like on this bench, so you, pa you can pan around and you can see the uh, sunlight piercing through the trees and you get an idea for the water physics that they have going on. So it's um, pretty straightforward. And then just tapping will sit the bro or um, stand the brother back up again or whoever happens to be sitting. So let's move him away and um, uh, we can have the little brother do the same thing. There's nothing really special about doing that. You don't get any... Um, uh, points or anything, but um, you can have them sitting around. So um, I'm gonna try and take over one of the brothers right now, see how far I can get. But um, different areas will um, only allow you to get to different parts. Um, and then, for example, there is a NPC, a non playable character in this environment. So um, I'll try talking to him, see if he helps. Um, in this case, you get to pick up the pet and play with the pet a little bit so that's so it's a little in-game entertainment there as well so um overall it is a game worth checking out um i do recommend getting it um i got it on sale in on google play for two dollars and 99 cents um it is it is regularly priced for android and ios at 4.99 four dollars and 99 cents um, it's also available in the windows pc store for i believe 14.99 and is also um, available um, for the PlayStation, I believe, as well. So definitely worth checking out and uh, playing. It is immersive. I think there's only three chapters, but as you can tell with the traveling and moving around that you need to do and um, the detailed and immersion of the game, it will take a little bit of time to finish and is definitely worth the $5 if you're playing on your mobile device. Um, so that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, you can always email me at um, headphonesnewlightyahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. So that is all for this particular review and uh, listening. And until next time.